illustration artist and do animations as well. Uh, I live and work in Frankfurt as a freelancer and yes, I'm open to travel for jobs. Oh, I do a lot of social media stuff, um, illustrations turning into animations as well. So I think the good thing about my work is that I'm able to animate it as, as well. Um, so it's not only a static object, um, but it can be moved into an explainable video or um, yeah. So you are more flexible. I think I decided quite early because um, I finished school when I was 17 and um, then I went studying communication design, visual communication, which is an art, yeah, so it's study, like studying art. And um, so I ended up studying graphic design and um, during the studies I specialized on illustration. My mom was not really convinced about it because she always thought there is no way to make money with art. Uh, my dad was completely the, the opposite. So he is a passionate, uh, he likes to draw and so he maybe understands all of it a little bit better. But he, my family never made it as a profession so they only did it for fun. Um, and I decided to do it as a profession because um, I think um, you're good at what you love to do. If you're passionate about something, then um, you will always reach your goals because you're motivated and then you're outgoing and you can talk about it. You connect to people who do in the same business and so this is how you grow in, in an artist way or as, yeah, in your whole life, I think. And it makes you happy, so <laughs> yeah. You definitely have to have some skills and if you want to become an illustration artist you should be able to draw or to do something um, yeah, in this way and um, I think the rest you can develop a lot. For example, you can go into animations, you can go into um, fine arts, you can go into illustrations. So there are several paths you could go and then you have to find out for yourself what's your passion and also where do you see your perspective most. Um, for example, me. I decided to go also the commercial way a bit because I think there are clients um, and this is the way I decided to do so I don't do I'm not the fine art person I like to do something that's for example appears in social media or yeah yeah so yeah um, you have to cope with home office quite often um, which is not always as dreamy as people might think because you have to motivate yourself um, and um, you also have to motivate yourself when you don't have a job. I think this is um, the most uh, stressful thing and then you have to give yourself enough energy to go out and to make new clients or to say hi to new clients or create something, uh, something new. Um, yeah, so I think this is maybe the, the biggest challenge. The next project, um, I assume it is Lufthansa because they called me two days ago. <laughs> Um, yeah, I can't talk about the details, but I used to work with them already during my studies and have a great experience with them. So I think it will be something social media style again and yeah, I will draw with my Cintiq. <laughs>